right into that spot, okay? So I'm setting up right at like T1. Bring it over a little more. Oh. Got it. Take a breath. You gotta breathe in and out for me. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. If you're new make sure to hit that like button, and subscribe to our channel. Today we're back with more crunchy cracks. First we have Dr. Joe Denke. Hey it's Dr. Denke at Select Spine and Sports Medicine. Today we're here with Miss Harmony. Uh, you may have seen her sister on one of our other videos that we did. She had a herniated disc in her neck, but Miss Harmony's here for her hip. She strained her hip flexor. Tell, tell us how you did that. Um, I was going down on a squat. Squats. Like, yeah, and felt squats. it there in the front of the hip. So today is our uh, third treatment. And how how have you how much have you improved since first and, and third now? Um, I've improved a lot. The pain has gone down, and um, I'm able to do more things, but like not 100 percent yet. But slowly. Have you gotten back into the squats yet? I tried. Not yet. Yeah, not, yet. not ready for that yet. Mm -hmm. We've given her some exercises for the front of the hip, some stretches. We've did some uh, we've done some soft tissue work, which is what we're going to get ready to do again. And then also she's come in before for neck and back pain, so we like to keep her well rounded and keep her adjusted as well. So I'm going to have you go ahead and lay on your on your back for me. We're going to work this uh, this hip flexor. We're going to do this. Um, come around this way a little bit. We're going to do this with uh, a technique called active release, which is a combination of pressure and stretch right across that muscle and tendon. Drop this one down here. So we'll come up here, and that pain that she was having was right deep, deep here in the hip flexor. Um, so we're going to contact, there's a little bone right here you can feel in the front of your hip. We're going to go on that bone right there. I'm going to drop down off of that just a little bit. She's been a little bit tender right through there. Is that where you're feeling it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll take that hip flexor and shorten it. And then we'll, we'll elongate that hip flexor while I'm holding pressure there. How's that feel? Feels okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not great, but it definitely gets the job done, right? So we'll do this for a, about a count of 12 to 15. And we're really just trying to hold that pressure down right on that musculotendinous junction or, or where the muscle meets the tendon to really help decrease that tension there, help soften up that muscle and allow it to heal with full flexibility, range of motion. Good. So how much do you squat? Um, my max right now is like 250. That's probably like more than half the people watching right now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how much you can squat. Not Put that in the comments. <laughs> Put that in the comments. How much can you squat? If you can't squat 250, you're probably not going to tell us the truth anyway, so... <laughs> I'm going to hold under the knee here, and I'm going to brace you right here, so you can put that foot right behind my shoulder there. I'm going to brace you here, I'm going to pull there. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Feel that in the front of the hip? Mm -hmm. Good. Hold that here. <coughs> I want you to push your knee down towards the table like that to activate that hip flexor. Go ahead, pull down, pull, pull, pull against my hand. Good. Pull, 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 pull. Relax. Good. And now I'll stretch again. So I have her activate the muscle there <clears throat> to engage it, wear it down a bit, and then we re-stretch and we can get a little bit more flexibility out of it after that. We call that P and F stretching. Go ahead, pull down again one more time. Good, down, 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 down. Good, relax, and we'll stretch one more time. Good. The hip flexor muscles, the main, uh, the main hip flexor is the psoas, major and minor, and they connect to all five lumbar vertebrae and go through the body and attach onto the front of the hip, and so they, they make your hip flex like this. And so we'll also treat in the lower back as well. We'll do some adjustments here. I'm going to do some hip adjustments. 
And uh, like I said, she's come in before, so we give full spine adjustments here. So uh, drop your hands on the outside of the armrest there. Breathe in and out for me. Good. Good. Relax here. Good. Keep that shoulder relaxed. Perfect. So keep that one straight. Now this was the tighter side of the lower back here. And also the same side with the hip flexor involvement here. So let's see what we can get here. You keep that nice and relaxed. Roll you this way. Perfect. Perfect. Any discomfort with that at all? Mm -hmm. No, good, perfect. Good. All right, let's see what this neck feels like here. Next up, we have Dr. Doug Willen. Esther here today. What do you want to work on, Esther? Um, my right shoulder is really bothering me. Mm -hmm. um, it's painful during the day, but last night was the first time that it woke me up. Okay. Yeah. And then does it stay localized or does it move down the arm? What oh, do you it stays notice? localized. Thank God. I hope. Okay. Does it hurt when you turn your neck? <laughs> this way? Do both ways. Um, so I feel it like a little sore. Mm -hmm. here um and how about moving the shoulder so like reach up with it not too much usually it's my left shoulder that's painful but i think i've open been overcompensating okay. a little bit can you touch your hands back this way and grasp them here turn around let's see <laughs> turn around i can usually so, do a little more can i move your hair out of the way yeah please. all right so do that and then reach back so you can touch so go to the other side i usually side. do farther though which is all right. Strange. Well, your shoulders have been bothering you a little bit. Yeah. Does one side feel more difficult than the other? Yes, the right side feels more difficult. Okay. And can you dig your fingers into any spot that you really notice? And you might move around and you like say, the yeah. Pain? Yeah. Where oh, you I know it. where it is. So it's up here in the shoulder. So here, turn around. So she's pointing up here high on the trap. Oh, and, yeah, 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 yeah. And like that nasty spot. So lift this up like this. I... All right. <laughs> Let me see compared to the other side. Yeah, there's like a little piece of concrete in here. So that's not good. <laughs> All right. Um, so we have, you said, right shoulder pain. And what about the lower back? The lower back, um, it's usually like a little lopsided. Um, so one side hurt more than the other? It doesn't hurt. It's just I can feel that it's like tilting this way. Okay, so it's torquing a little bit. Yeah. So um, right now it's not so bad, but like over time, as my muscles uh, do the job, it. it okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do both. We're gonna do neck, shoulder. We're gonna do lower back. I'm gonna have you start face up. So your head's gonna be here, lying on your back. So we got this nasty spot here. And I'm, again, on that top of that shoulder point that she pointed to. So let's take her good arm, okay? Keep this arm, make it nice and strong. I'm not going to push it. Don't let me push it down, okay? So hold, hold, hold. Stronger, stronger. Make it really strong. There you go. See, it's strong. So hold it strong like that. And now I'm going to touch the bad spot. So hold the arm strong. Hold it. And I'm going to touch the bad spot. Mm. And the arm goes weak. So hold the arm one more time. Keep the arm strong uh, and it just goes. Uh, so I'm going to adjust it first with the activator because I can get very specific with the tip of this activator. I'm turning it on now. It's just warming up. Sorry about that. So I'm going to just come in and just push down in there. 
Let's recheck this. Hold the uh, arm up strong. Mm. It's holding a little uh. better. And I'm going to adjust right into that spot, okay? So I'm setting up right at like T1. Bring it over a little more. Oh. Got it. Take a breath. Oh, God. How did that do? I don't know. I think I'm lying in my grave. <laughs> I don't know if that's a testimonial or not. <laughs> Probably not. It's not a good thing. I, I just <laughs> contact you. your lawyer. Hold your arm up. Contact I don't my have one. contact my lawyer. <laughs> make sure my one. malpractice is paid up. Okay, so hold up this arm again. Much stronger, right? Mm -hmm. You got more to do though. We're just getting started on that, okay? I'm gonna adjust into here next, okay? I'm coming up a little higher on the opposite side. Take a breath in, blow it out. <sighs> what do you think of that one? Crispier than cereal. Are you still in the grave or are you ascending a little bit? Oh, that crunch, I would buy it. Buy what? I don't know, because it's cashew make that brand. It's just like a breakfast cereal or oh, something? Oh God. Okay, here's one. Let this tilt. Ay, ay, ay. This is what they do in the Kung Fu movies. Yeah, it was it. I just did a Bruce Lee move on you. So now I'm going to pull straight back, okay? Take a breath in and blow it out. Ugh. <sighs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Where'd you feel that pull from? Um, In my lower back, actually. Okay, all the way through. In my lower, like here. Mm hmm. And somewhere around here. So now I'm gonna have you lie face Actually, down. Maybe like in my head. <laughs> your head and all the way down your lower back. Um, I felt two places. It was like here and here. Cool. That's where it was restricted, so it just released. So I'm gonna have you lie face down. You ready? Yeah. Are you surviving? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> all right. Hopefully you feel better when I wish, we're done. I wish we recorded this at five in the morning today. Oh, when you saw how bad your shoulder was when you woke up? <laughs> when it like woke me up and I'm like, what is happening? Scoot down towards me so your ankles hang off a little bit more. A little more. Can you still breathe? Mm -hmm. Is your paper aligned? Yeah, it is. All right, so I'm going to bring both ankles up like this. Do you get tight in the back when I do this? Or just tight on the quads? Um... Because if you'll tie the quads, it's just a stretch, right? Like you pull your quad back and it's just stretching through there. That's okay. But if it cramps the lower back, the lower back is a little stressed. But there's other ways to test. I'm just seeing this one. Do you feel that one right there? Well, no, it's muscle feel. A tight muscle right there? You know, I think with allergies, everywhere is a bit tight and, mm -hmm. and like sensitive. So it's a little hard for me to gauge. I'm gonna adjust right in here. Okay. I'm gonna grab your skin and pull it straight back. Oh my God, that's what I do to my cat. You do? Yeah. Do you do it with, do you bite her skin like a cat's mother? <laughs> or do you just do it with your sometimes, fingertips? Sometimes I do that if she likes it. <laughs> Does she go into the paralyzed face look? <laughs> um, she has a lot of skin and fur, so. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull this down like one more inch. Is that okay? Yeah, please. Okay, so I'm gonna move this just down to L5. So you're still covered. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to grab this right here. Oh. Oh. Did you hear that pop? Are you asking me? Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> and one more. All right. I think I need to go to dermatologist next and tighten that up a bit. <laughs> well, no, you did good there. So I'm going to move this back to where it was. Move this back to where it was. Take a breath in. I'm going to do a spot up in here. Big breath in, good, and one more. Big breath in, and blow it out. Oh, and one more here. <laughs> wow, hello. What? You feel that one? Oh my god. Good. So now I'm gonna have you lie on your side, facing me. <laughs> That's how greasy my face was. Okay. Here's a pillow. Put your head right here. Pull the top knee up, scoot your hips closer to me, and we do that so your knee doesn't hit. Do you see that? Your knee has room. I'm going to take this arm out and touch your own tricep. I'm going to rock this down towards me a little bit. Oh! Good, and turn this way. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. 
You did this. It feels so vulnerable. Oh, you okay? <laughs> yeah. Should we keep going or? We're just playing a symphony, that's all. All right. We should go to Carnegie Hall. You said we should go to Carnegie Hall. Do you feel okay? You need a break? Yeah, no, this is great. Do one more? Oh, do 10 more. All right, good, good. So I'm going to do this button here next, okay? Big breath in. <sighs> Blow it out. Good. Oh. So let's pull this away, okay? Yeah. Do you still feel like you're uh, in a grave? <laughs> Major percussions. Right, I'm just going to get a little bit on this leg now, okay? Yeah. And a little on this one. Where'd you feel that pull from? Um, the first one more in my uh, ankle. Mm -hmm. The second one more in my hip, hip I think. Yeah. I think I get right? the left hip on the second one. Yeah, I, I heard mm -hmm. a very large one here. So roll to your side and then get up gently. So you're going to turn this way and push yourself up like they teach in yoga class. And then let your legs swing down this way. And then stand when you're ready. And see how you feel. What do you think? Oh Heaven. That's awesome. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and check out our other videos.